In this video, we're going to go over the cold email system. I'm going to walk you through the three different ways that you can use to build up your audiences, to build up your actual customer list, and different ways that you can go about putting together your actual lead prospecting database. So let's go right ahead and jump into this here. Now, there's going to be three different ways that you can go ahead and build your customer list. The first way is going to be through manual search. This is going to be through going on Google, going through various websites, and we're going to walk through very much so in detail different websites, different platforms that we can go and actually build our customized list doing it manually. And then we're going to walk through number two, which is buying email lists. Now, there's very specific steps that you need to follow when you're buying an email list so that you know it's up to date and you're not getting a bunch of filler data. A lot of times, People will buy lists that they buy from different places. They'll recycle them. They'll put in a bunch of names and emails that don't really fit what you're looking for. I'm going to show you how you can find very customized lists that are very inexpensive, right? Where you can get information from companies as far as the company size, uh, information, revenue, employees, right? And all the different types of information that you're going to need to make sure that the list is high quality. And another thing that you can do is actually hire contractors. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on Upwork where I'm gonna show you an example of some jobs that I've posted and the kind of contractors that I've hired and give you some recommendations as to what to look for, how to actually create the job and the things that are really important to make sure that you're getting the right kind of data. Because once you hire contractors, on Upwork, for example, you can get very specific with the data. You can get uh, the company size, the revenue, uh, and get it real time. Because what oftentimes what they'll do is they'll go to websites such as like Info USA, and they'll pull data right from the actual database and then be able to put that in a spreadsheet and get that over to you. And it's typically five to 10 cents per lead. And then one of the most important things that we're gonna walk through is after you've collected your email database from either buying a list from a specific vendor that I'm gonna show you different ones that you can use that I've used that have worked tremendously well for me and then also hiring contractors. Once you get those email lists, you wanna be able to run those through an email cleaner. You have to make sure that the emails are actually safe, they're cleaned and they're ready to get sent because oftentimes you'll have emails that are old, that are spam traps, that are not updated because we want to reduce the number of bounces that we're getting because we want to make sure that the emails that we're sending are to the right email addresses and we're protecting the credibility of our domain and our email address. So now let's go over the cold email process that we're going to utilize for our particular strategy here. The process essentially starts with sending an email and then getting a response and then depending on that response there, taking appropriate action. So if a response comes back and they want to learn more, they want to find out if it makes sense for us to uh, do business together, right? You want to schedule a discovery call. You want to address their concerns. And I'm going to show you uh, different ways to respond, address any concerns, right? So we can get them to that scheduled call. Now, if there's no response, then typically what we'll do is we'll have an automated email setup process here that sends follow-ups on automation so that whenever they are able to receive a first email, they perhaps read it, they forget or they get distracted. We have a follow-up email that gets sent three days, four days after that to let them know, hey, just wanted to see if you had received a previous message and you had read the message, you know, whatever that may be. Typically, I like to do anywhere between three to seven uh, times as far as follow-ups, right? Because you don't really know if that prospect read the email and they got distracted and they were interested. Uh, so it's really important to send follow-up emails, right? And sometimes you can send them until they tell you to stop. I mean, I've had a lot of clients that have emailed me back on email five and have said, hey, you know, I really appreciate you reaching you know, out to me. I really like your persistence. I took a look at your email. I'm interested. However, I just haven't had the time to respond. Hey, uh, what's your availability for a call? So never underestimate the power of automation and how you can uh, actually set up an email campaign 
to follow up every three to four days. Uh, and I'm gonna walk you through a system. We use Mailshake to be able to send automated emails between, between certain times and then whenever they respond, they will automatically get removed from that actual series and campaign. Now, the ultimate goal is to get us on a discovery call. We walk through the sales process in one of the other videos, but our ultimate goal is to send an email, get a response so that they will get scheduled on a discovery call. And I'm gonna walk you through all the different steps that we go through once they respond, but typically, we want to have that discovery call so that we can find out a little bit more about that particular business. They can learn more about your product and service. And if it makes sense, right, for you guys to go on to the next step in the process, which is that presentation. So this is essentially our cold email process here. I'm really excited to walk through all the different steps and walk into detail how to write emails, how to write emails that convert and how to get your prospects attention and get them to actually want to book a call with you. So that's going to be here for this video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.